Hi there, I'm Katrina Padron, a social media strategist. Today I'm going to show you how to change these little images right here on your Facebook page where mine says free tools, video training, and where it has this Twitter bird. Um, when Facebook made all of those changes a couple months ago, the biggest change obviously was this cover image, um, which is that big rectangle here up at the top. And I see a lot of business pages who have their cover image changed, but they've kind of neglected these little squares. And it might not seem important, but it really, really makes your page look much more professional and well-branded if you just change these little squares. People are thinking, well, how do I change the little squares? So those images, the size is 111 by 74 pixels, 111 wide by 74 tall. And um, what you can do is you can have your graphic designer, or if you design your own things, you can make those images. Then what I recommend you do is you use this free tool. It's called TimelineImageTool.com. And this is created by Laura Roeder. It's a really, really great tool. I love what it does. So all you do, TimelineImageTool.com, click here to get started. And this is going to retrieve information from Facebook. And this takes just a second. Um, so give me a minute. And you then get this long list of all of the pages you manage. I manage a lot, so there's a big list here. Um, you will probably just have one for your one business. So I click on Padrone Social Marketing. That's the page that I want to change. And here's my page. So right down here it says start by selecting the image you'd like to edit. So okay, so say I don't want this to have this Twitter bird anymore. So I click that. And they do have some images preloaded in here. So maybe I want to use the megaphone, the arrow. The arrow could be really good if you want them to sign up for something. Um, here are the preloaded images. I also think this is really cool. So they have some preloaded color backgrounds. So you see when I click that pink color, my Twitter bird goes away and it turns pink or orange or gray, whatever I want. Um, so you can select a background and then you can type in here, you can type follow, follow me. or whatever you wanted to say. You might want sign up here, you might want free tools, video training, whatever it is. You can also adjust the size and you can click and move it around a little bit. Um, and you can change the font too if you want it to look like something else. So I mean, maybe you want something like that. Of course, you know, it doesn't match these other two that I already have as um, branded images. So if that's, if you were happy with that, if you just wanted the background and then it to say the text that you have, you would just scroll down and click make it live. I am going to show you what it looks like with a couple other things you can do. So maybe I want this arrow. And you can still see that the text says follow me. I can change it back to black. So maybe you want to use one of those icons and you can kind of play with this a little bit. Maybe a megaphone. Whatever works for you. Um, but okay, so I obviously wanted to go back to that Twitter bird with the blue background. So I just go to um, choose file. And I thought I already had it uploaded. Um, so I choose file, I go to logos, and you'll see a bunch of my logos that I use here. And here is, I use a ping image, a JPEG would also work. So you click that and you can see the images, the images there. Now I just click upload. See, and then it's right down here in this box. So then I click make it live. Working 
it says success and um, you know I love this tool I'm actually going to click to tweet to let other people know about it and let them know that I used it and then we go back to Katrina Padron let's refresh here and then we have it live and you can see right here this is different than how I had it before you can see that it says follow me so my text was also saved in there so that's all you do so this week what I recommend doing is putting um, basically just branding those images making it look very cohesive and using call to actions on each of those little boxes um, if you like this video please like it share it tweet it or pin it and if you want to sign up for more updates, basically a weekly marketing to-do list, I send those out on Monday. You can just visit KatrinaPadron.com and click to sign up. Thanks.